Greetings everyone and welcome back to the Cataclysm and to Brutus Salazar who, well, I mean, you know, things will be going better. We're rather hungry, it must be said. Uh, we have no water here either, which is a bit of a problem, if we're honest. We need somewhere where there is sufficient water to cook our food. Now, there are a couple of places within easy reach. One of them is the grocery store. There are lavatories in the grocery store that we can use to cook some food. Um... Specifically for the crossbow. That crossbow will really, really help us. Uh, so for the time being, let's have a quick look into the vehicle. Uh, we got a bit of space in there. Sure, we'll move across. Nails. Hmm, the blanket, maybe? Sure, we'll take the blanket as well. We're not going to need many of these, but we'll take two. Just so I don't have to worry uh, much. Uh, well, actually, we'll take three. Much about uh, food. Uh, oh, there's still another blanket there. We'll take that as well. Okay, I want to pass a little bit of time. Let's wait five minutes. And of course, it does help if I take the items. Oh, really? I guess we're waiting a little bit longer then. Another five minutes. Really? Hmm. Is there anything in that tile? Oh, other than the brazier, not. I mean, to be fair, we could just let the place burn down, but I'd rather not, I don't, I think. Uh, let's have a peek through the curtains. Any zombies? No. Okay. Well, we're waiting here for the brazier. I'm going to wait through. Okay, there we go. We've got the brazier now. Let's grab that. Grab the trolley. It is also night time, which is actually going to work to our advantage. Since most... Ugh. Most things aren't going to be able to see us. Of course, need to yield my umbrella. Now there's something just south of us, and it has definitely spotted us at this point. There is no way around that. We're just going to have to make our way over to the uh, the grocery store as fast as we can. Let's go up and around. It'll slow down on all of these benches. They'll they'll be thwacking against that for a little while, and that's fine. I don't mind that too much. The main thing is that we get out of the way and in here. Close that door. Close this door. Okay. This is where we're going to be setting up. Hmm. Or should it be? It's a little bit of a tricky question, actually. Uh, whatever we do, let's go ahead and wield our forked spear for now. So, wield that. Now, next thing. I'd actually like to use the advanced inventory... Uh, yeah, yeah, we want to use the advanced inventory. I was just having a look at what I had with me just then. So, in my inventory right now, what do we want to drop off? We've got a plastic bottle, a glass bottle. I can drop off my umbrella. I can drop off the hammer as well. Now, I've got a lot of cash cards, and those are things that I'm going to want to bring with me. Uh, what else can we do here? Hmm. I think we should be able to manage this, actually. Okay, so there's something just up above us. It's fine. Yeah, it's going to be angry. I'm going to reverse this in. And... I'm also going to drop off my quiver, duffel bag, short bow. Uh, ignore further issues. Now, if we additionally drop off the brazier, I think it is important that we deal with whatever's out here. It might be something a little bit... It could be something really, truly terrible. And so, I'm going to let it break through the door. Let's deposit all of this onto one cash card. There we are, nice and fast. That's $3,000 on there now. That is actually quite amazing. And six empty cash cards. Brilliant. I'll ignore that. Right, close this. Now the question is, whatever's out there is having a really hard time breaking through there. Hello, thought it would be you. It wasn't doing much damage. Could have been many other things that would have been significantly more uh, capable of breaking through a door. But you can often, as you get used to the game, you can quite often work these sorts of things out. If something's having a really hard time just getting through a basic wooden door, 
probably not a brute, as it happens. There we are. Yeah, I strongly suspected it was going to be a uh, a shady zombie simply because of the fact that uh, it had seen me from so far away and it started following me. There we are. We'll grab the tainted bones. Tainted meat can stay there, though. All right. Um, at this point, we can take you back out. Don't need you in there. Let's stop driving you. I am also going to get items. Let's wear some items first. I want my quiver. I would like my short bow. I would like my duffel bag. There we are. Right, now I'd like my brazier. And some 2 by 4s Don't need that many, but this should be fine. All right, let's apply the brazier. Right there. Also going to need to grab my campfire drill. There we are. Now, let me just have a look at my morale. I am a little bit wet, actually. Let's activate the towel. There we are. I should have a towel on me. Let's drop that off as well, then. Okay. All right. We don't actually care for these two buffos, so I'm just going to drop them all in there. And then we're going to set the fire. There we go. Now, this is a very little bit of light. It, it's basically contained in this area, but we can see anything else we might want from outside. So, time for us to cook some dandelion greens. All of the dandelion greens. Every single one. Cook them now. This is going to take me an hour and 12 minutes, which is why we've placed down all of that. Our skill in cooking has increased to three. Fantastic. Um, cooking any, uh, Doing anything more of this level is no longer going to be particularly good for me, but a lot of dandelion greens and they give a lot of nutrition. Uh, will we even get to hungry from that? Oh wow. No, we did. Just what we did. And that's the important part. Next up. Oh, did we? Oh, I see. We used up all of the water that was there. Uh, don't take it down, but grab the badly burnt 2x4. Now we're going to wait a little bit. Wait five minutes. Uh, wait another five minutes. Uh, another. 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 Hurry up. 30 minutes. Okay. We're going to be here for a little while then, I guess. That is one of the reasons why we probably shouldn't have thrown all three of them down. Oh, well. Uh, right. Let's have a look. What are the new things that we can make now? Dehydrated meat, fruit. Can we make salted yet? Um, let's see. Salted. We can smoke fish. Can we make salted meat? Slob sound. Ah, yes. Of course, we can cook people. Mm, probably not wise to do it unless you're a cannibal. Otherwise, the, the effect on your morale is going to be so bad. Uh, meat jerky. There we are. We need salt and chunk of meat. Uh, salty dried meat that never goes bad, but will make you thirsty. Doesn't give you a lot of nutrition, to be fair, which is a bit of an issue, but it basically stays forever. Uh, whereas if we have a look at... Uh, just cooked meat. Where would that be? Cooked corn dog. No, we want cooked meat. Cooked awful cooked meat. That gives you 28 nutrition. Only one portion, though. So how much does the uh, meat jerky give you? Three portions. Oh, okay, that's 27 there, but with a cumulative uh, effect of minus 15 quench. Uh, but also for enjoyment per. Whereas cooked meat... 28, so slightly more nutritious, not, uh, it doesn't cause any um, significant issue to your quench. So, overall, if time isn't a factor, like you've got a ridiculous amount of meat, maybe, for example, you killed a, uh, a moose. Uh, that might be a good time to do it. Uh, then you should be alright. Do I have the gallon jug with us? Do we have a gallon jug in here? Uh, no. No, we do not. We've just got a couple of glasses. So, pour into container. Let's pour this into the glass bottle for now. Ah, there we are. It's still a bit. Good. And I would like some clean water, please. Uh, two for now, because that's all I... Well, actually, if we make all... No. It won't allow me to do it, because I'd have to be pouring it back into the glass. But uh, it's fine. I was going to drink quite a few of it anyway. And continue drinking it. There we are. Uh, no, don't drink it if you don't need it. And finally, make one more clean water, pour it into the uh, plastic bottle as well. There we are, that's all we need. 
Right, I'm going to close this door just so that the light doesn't travel outside. And we're going to wait a little bit longer. Another 30 minutes. There we go. That's what we wanted. Lay down the brazier. And we're good to go. All right, we've restored most of the situation for ourselves. There's still lots more that we can do, certainly. But the very least, right now, it isn't terrible. Now then, we need to be gone from this place. Uh, should we drop all of this into the into the battle trolley? I think we should. Let's go ahead and do that. Now well, it is night time and the uh, shady zombies are going to be able to see us. Uh, yes. Stop interacting with infantry. Yes. Now, what I need to do is move away from the shady zombie. It's going to hit me. Don't break my trolley. Please don't. I need to drop down a load of things, namely these. There we are. At this point, should be able to finish it off, especially if I force it to step toward me. Gives me a moment to attack. There we go. Cut it up. Uh, yes, stop. Now, it's just moved on to that area. Uh, it lunged at me, but failed. And again, there we go. I'm happy to kill all the shady zombies this way. Uh, a lot of people have said, well, you don't need to cut up, uh, sorry, to properly butcher something, and you're absolutely right. You don't need to, but it trains your survival skill if you do. So it's quite worth it in my opinion. I would like to wear this, then my quiver, then my short bow as well. There we are. I'll grab this too. And all of the glass shards. Now let's go and assess the damage of my, uh, of my trolley. Uh, okay, it's not terrible. Alright, drop off all of these things, which we will eventually be breaking down. And then grab it. We shouldn't have any shady zombies too close by. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Damn it. Where's the umbrella? Where are you, umbrella? I was being a dope. Also apply the towel, please. There we go. There we go. Right, may as well drop the splintered wood in there as well if we can. Have we got enough room? Yes, we have. Uh, can I take it all? All of the splintered wood, please? There we go. Alright, let's start dropping this off into the car because we are probably going to be heading back using the car after this. Alright, okay, so what have we got in here right now? Gosh, we've got a remarkable amount of stuff in there at the moment. Uh, if we have a look at the vehicle... Uh, we've got enough room though, so let's drop up the blankets. The bone needle is staying with us, the boxer shorts, definitely. Uh, we don't need all of the empty cash cards. Uh, if you press M, you can select how many. Uh, we've got four, so let's move all four of them. Both ceramic shards, that's fine. All of the seeds, all of these items. Keep the frying pan, of course, the glass bottle being kept as well. All 24 of these, all to top. The hammer we don't actually need. Um, we'll keep those, though. Makeshift probe out as well. The nails, newspaper pages can all go in there. All of these items are well, getting reasonably closer. Uh, paper wrapper, the pipe, plastic bag. We'll keep the bottle of clean water. Get rid of all the scrap metal. Get rid of all of these. The bones, the toolbox, obviously staying with us. We'll keep the badly burned 2x4 as well. And uh, the undershirt and the wrapped radiation badge. There we go. Now let's have a look at you. What's your target? It's 12 at the moment. Now, uh, someone mentioned that the damaged uh, storage battery is going to be causing us to lose charge at the moment. Which is extremely unfortunate. So I may want to do, just remove that. If this is causing us to lose charge, then we want to take this out. Two with one lifting or 15 strength. Hmm. We can easily make a, a jack if we need to. Uh, we'll come back to that one though, obviously. Now then, while it is nice and dark, I say, Ooh, you scared the living daylights out of me. <sighs> I genuinely jumped. Let it not be said. So this game doesn't have the occasional jump scare. Uh, still out in my inventory. Honestly, 
I can easily fight you from afar. Uh, let's stop pulling the uh, battle trolley around. But, uh, could I perhaps keep... Ah, uh, she shrieked. Damn. That's going to cause us some issues. Uh, another cash card. Okay. Now we'll come in with. Drop these off. There we go. Well, that was unfortunate to be certain. Let's go ahead and wield the fork spear. Uh, actually, no. Wield the umbrella for now. Grab the trolley and start making our way from here and down. We'll see what we can do. That's going to have dropped... Oh, really? Mm. Well, I mean, the thing is, it's super useful to clear them out right now. Incredibly useful, in fact. Also, I'm training my uh, skills pretty actively right now. Because this is a reasonably difficult thing to do. Because I'm wearing so much stuff that's encumbering me. I equip my umbrella. Let's try not to get suicidally depressed because we're wet. Shall we? I, th I think that's probably good. Uh, we don't want that. We will do. Uh, sure, we'll take all the heavy, sheet, uh, heavy sticks, the sheets. We can't move that one, unfortunately. That's fine, though. And the sheets are useful. That's the problem. I'm a little bit concerned because the shrieker has shrieked. So, I'm going to hover around near the car for now. Because we may end up in a situation where a Hulk... Uh, sorry, uh, a Brute. It is also possible that you'll end up with a Hulk. And, yeah, it's it's about as good as it sounds. Frankly, that is not. Not good. It's not good at all. Don't let it happen to you. Uh, move all these across. Uh, get rid of the heavy sticks. The long strings are probably the most important thing. The rest of this stuff I'm just picking up because I'm a pack rat. But the other stuff, uh, the long strings, super useful. Uh, the sheets can be cut up into a ridiculous amount of rags, so that's useful, but not amazingly so. Uh, let's continue on and see if we can't get down and grab that, uh, that crossbow, shall we? Is there anything there? Yes, there was. Very well. I like the cargo. Yeah, we'll take all of these plastic shopping bag and the tainted bones because we can make bone glue with it. Which is useful in a lot of things. Alright, we need to get in the front. Actually, what we first need to do. Oh my lord. Well, we're not easily going to be able to fit this in the, into the uh, battle trolley. Still, waste not, want not. Uh, I will pick up the rest myself. Maybe. Yeah, I've got enough. Barely. I'm not going to have enough for all of that. But let's just get inside first. We can then decide what we're doing after that. We haven't actually had an opportunity. Okay. Being trapped here is not good. Okay, let's just drop... No, I can't afford to drop the things here. Drop these items on the floor where I'm stood then. Ignore it. Wield my fork spear. Hello. The scallywag. I do need to drop my uh, duffel bag, though, and the quiver. And I need to do it, even though I'm being attacked. It sucks massively, but... Um, now let's just get into this fight properly. Now I'm unencumbered. I'm actually a shady zombie killing machine. There we go. Cut up both of these shady zombies. If that's the only thing that saw me, and that's the only reason it saw me was because it is a shady zombie, then that's fine. Lockers. What have we got in here? Sports brush. Well, I'll take a line and cut it up at the very least. We've got a lot of sheet metal. When I see a bunch of lockers, I don't see lockers, I see sheet metal. Sheet metal is amazing. Uh, we've got various things around here that I can use, but there's... Uh, very little in here, really. I mean, you can break down treadmills, you can break down weight machines, you can you can do a lot of stuff. But none of it is particularly important, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I mean, it's good for electronics later on. Early stages, though, not going to be particularly useful. 
Right, what we're going to do is we're going to condense down all of the random stuff that I've got here by pulling it all into a single tile. Anything that is, like, massively damaged, and then I'm just going to break it down. There we go. And let's butcher it all. Cut up all I can. There we go. We've got some wood, plastic chunks, 16 leather patches, a felt patch, and 70 rags. The rags, not useful to us. Uh, or at least, it's not useful in that we've got enough. We're fine for rags. Uh, can I not grab... Hmm. Did I only drop the duffel bag? Oh, I only dropped the duffel bag. Okay. Well, that's kind of interesting, actually. Uh, right, at this point, then, let's grab you. And from here, we'll be able to see everything on the ground. And we've reduced quite a lot of weight in there. I want the plastic chunks. Uh, Shift M will move the entire stack if you don't care to write down the amount. Uh, leave the sheet glass there. I will, however, take this and all of these clothing. Uh, once again, the bones I want. Because you, the, the unfortunate thing about bones is they can be used to make glue, but you need a lot of them. So even though I'm like, oh, really? You're just picking up five or six? Well, yeah, actually, because I need to use them at 20 or 40 at a time. So every single bone counts. Uh, it's the unfortunate part about that. The rags... Uh, no, we're going to leave those. We've got a, a ridiculous amount of rags at the base. So we don't need to pick those up. But this is now a thoroughly explored area. This is also a thoroughly explored area. So let's mark those and be on our way. We are almost certainly going to draw more attention to ourselves, so let's be aware of that. If we can get into the bookstore, wow, that's going to be good for us. The amount of stuff we'll get from that. Nothing there. Let's try and get in the front as quickly as we can. Oh, we've just discovered Mecca, basically. All right, look at all of this. Now there's going to be a good amount of them that are rubbish to us, but a good amount that are going to be incredibly important. So what I recommend you do is condense everything in here into one tile where you can. But as I've said, one of the main ways that you gain skill in this game is reading. So a bookstore, it it's hard to put it in, in the same sort of... Uh, area as a grocery store, but it, it has the same sort of impact on your long-term survivability. A grocery store gives you immediate survivability in that you can now eat. You're not going to starve. Great, great. That, that's that's awesome. But for you to survive any, you know, significant length of time in the apocalypse, you need to know how to build things. You need to know how, like, crafting is a massive part of it, but also you'll get a lot of um... You'll get a lot of uh, melee skill and, and things like that. You can learn to be a better fighter using these books. They are incredibly, incredibly important. Never pass up books if you get the opportunity to, uh, to, get, to get them. And let's condense all of this one tile and then we'll grab what we can. That was fantastic. Okay, so into the dragged vehicle, we want let's have a look, 101 crafts for beginners. Want. Advanced economics. Eh. Alpha male quarterly, maybe. Biodiesel renewable fuel source. Yes. Birdhouse monthly. It gives fabrication, I believe. Um, cooking on a budget. Don't need it, so we'll leave that now. Guns and ammo we'll take. Mechanical mastery sounds like a good book. Uh, let's see. Self esteem for dummies. The big book of first aid. Okay, so now, now I've got the main ones that I wanted. We're going to pick up everything that it doesn't have a number next to it. So I'll grab one of those. There we are. Now we've done that. We're going to sweep back through and grab anything I haven't read before. Grab you. You. I haven't got enough room for you. I've got enough room for you, though. But that's all that we're picking up from there. The rest, I might be able to just pick up myself. Because at the end of the day, it's also paper. Which is amazing. Wow, we've just cleared out an entire bookstore. 
You have no idea what this represents for us. Or maybe you do. Uh, either way, super amazing good. Let's equip that. Uh, how wet am I right now? I'm pretty wet. Let's dry off. There we go. That's made everything a little bit better. Now, let's see if we can't get straight up to the car because we are... Oh, damn it. We are going to want to drop all of these off if we can. Can I pick these up while I'm here? Yes, I can. Let's keep going. But as you can see, we have been very thorough just moving through the town bit by bit. We're very hungry again, unfortunately, but, you know, this is the way it's going to be. Bit by bit, we're moving through. We're clearing out the, the town of whatever's there. And this is becoming really, really important to us. I really kind of feel that uh, we need to... Uh, let's sort this by category, please. There we go. So <laughs> that can go in there. Uh, we'll drop those off eventually, no doubt. Uh, all of the tools stay. Clothing, however, pretty much anything else goes in there. Uh, all of the books. That was actually really, really good. All the tainted bones. All of the... Yes. Really, dude? Must be such a scoundrel. Alright. Bob Spear it is. Will you please stop attacking? Oh, you infected me. That's annoying. Uh, do we have a med kit back at base? That there, it's a deep wound. Super, super dangerous. Basically means we've got a zombie infection. If that tr gets further, right now it's curable. If we just clean the wound carefully, we're all right. If it gets further than that, if it becomes an infection, it's not an infection yet. It's just a deep wound, so it's a it's a um, it's a vector for the infection to get into our bodies. So that means we are going back now. Um, no other options. Let's drop off everything else that we had here. Plastic chunks. Um, glass bottles going with us. All of the tools are coming with us. At this point. Uh, the brazier, however, not. No, no, we're going to leave the brazier here. Uh, but everything else is coming with. Alright. I'm going to leave this in the house. Or near the house, I guess. Well, in the house if I can. Uh, apparently, I missed the door. Yes, I did. Alright. Okay, thank you very much, Battle Trolley. You've done a good job. We now need to get out of here. Grab all of these on our way. You've got a little bit of time before... You're in my car. You annoying, annoying skeleton. I'm faster than you, and you're trying to move through a car. Also, now I've got to break you down. On the plus side, you know how I was saying bones are really hard to get? Well, not so much. It, well, uh, where do I want to grab it from? There. Not as much if you're if you're fighting a lot of skeletons, and there's some places that are better for that than others. Uh, right, let's let's drive. I am going to turn on the headlights and accelerate up to 32 kilometers an hour. Uh, lots of turkeys, bats as well. In fact, let's go up to 48 miles an hour. Uh, sorry, kilometers an hour. There we are. As you can see, we're making a lot more progress now. Start slowing down because we're coming up towards our destination. We don't want to be reckless. There we go. And slow down to 16. There we are. We'll just pull up here. Oh! We've been fantastically fortunate. It we we spent too much time. Basically, we we spent too much time. We have been incredibly lucky in that the infection wasn't able to take hold. It's rare, very rare. It's only happened to me a couple of times that that I haven't had to cauterize the wound. We had a fire drill with us, but we we needed a lighter. We could have set up our brazier. Basically, lit the fire. Use a knife, heated it over the fire, and cut away the, the potentially infected flesh. 
It is fantastically painful. It's as painful as it sounds like it's going to be, which is really, really, really painful. So, uh, you know, don't do it if you if you can avoid it. But um, you can. That if you have no other options, cauterize the wound. I should have because it took me longer to get here than I, I anticipated. Mostly because I had to deal with the, the brazier. Uh, sorry, the moving the trolley in there and then having to fight the skeleton. I wasted a lot of time. But that's the way you generally going to look at it. If you've got a med kit or like a bottle of disinfectant, you can use those to disinfect the wound. You're fine. It'll just turn into a normal wounded limb. But if it's blue, then you are at risk. It's a deep wound and it could become an infected wound. And an infection is a lot harder to get rid of. Then you actually need antibiotics. And, you know, understandably in the cataclysm, kind of hard to get hold of those sort of stuff. Or royal jelly is another one. Royal jelly basically cures everything. Uh, it is very, very useful. All right, let's uh, stop driving. Wield my umbrella. Close the door. Now, let's get inside. <sighs> okay, well, what have I got on me at the moment? I've got a lot of things on me at the moment. I'm going to drop the books that I don't know what they are up here for now. And we'll get more up here shortly. And what have I got in there? Actually, I guess I'm dropping all the books here, unless they're books that I want to take with. Have we got a newspaper page? We do. What do you know about survival? Well, you know what? Maybe I should just store all of the newspaper pages in one place. Uh, I think I will. Actually. Drop that down. Cooking on a budget, though, is coming with me, and it's going to be stored down here, where I'll be able to make use of things. We've, we've actually got a lot of damage items now. The camisole. What? 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 I'm not wearing the camisole, my, but my pants and my jumpsuit are messed up. That is deeply upsetting. Uh, let's make sure I'm not wet anymore. All right, it's time for us to move uh, all of the stuff that's in the car out of the car. And for that, we are, of course, going to be using advanced inventory. It is going to take us a long time to move all of this stuff where we're, we're taking it. And now I've done that, let's close the car down. How much charge is on the car? 9%. It's not great. It's certainly not great. I uh, want we'll to start moving it northward now. There we go. And uh, is it coming towards day? Yeah, it's almost six o'clock. So yeah, it's uh, daylight is starting to break. Move all of this in. Grab a zombie spotted. No, don't stop until last it's approaching me. It's probably far enough away that it hasn't seen me. Yeah, look, looks like we're safe. Uh, move all of this further up. And with that, close the door. Okay. Uh, actually. Can I grab the gallon jug of water, please? Thank you. Ah, oh, my lord. That was a bit of a bit of a long meandering path. Alright, let's drop all of these items that need to be broken down. Uh, am I only... St uh, well, actually... Let's try and sort this out, shall we? What am I filtering based on right now? There we go. I'd like anything that is very badly damaged to be moved. Over there. Everything else we will drop down here. And we can use it as uh, repair fodder. Have all of these. There we are. Now, we are very hungry once again, and that is decidedly not great. I say as my stomach rumbles massively. Don't worry, I'm going to eat. People always nag me. Am I eating enough? Well, probably, if, if you think... <laughs> for most people, probably not. The answer is probably going to be not. Even though, technically, yes, I'm eating more than enough. I am hungry right now, so I'm going to eat soon. Ah... Uh, some of my viewers, bless them. They do remind me of my mother, though. Uh, right. Let's grab all of these. Grab these all off. Womp. Grab a little bit more. Uh, actually, suit undershirt. I've actually got a lot of stuff here. This is really good. 
We've got a lot of things that we can break down. It's going to take me an awful long time to do it, mind you, but, you know, it's good. Uh, let's grab all of the components. Plastic chunks as well. Drop all of that. And the tainted bone. Actually, let's unload the flashlight we've got and drop all of that down as well. Uh, there we go. I will drop the cash card over with tools. Just don't need to with this. Right, can I get a 2x4? Have I got any 2x4s here? I've got some heavy sticks, actually, so that's fine. I'll take two heavy sticks. Drop the two heavy sticks over here. I'd also like to take the campfire drill. I'm not doing this for light. I'm doing this currently for checking out what we can cook. You make some more cooked dandelion greens. I can make some a load of cooked water. I can only make one cooked dandelion green, unfortunately. Let's just eat. Uh, well, yeah, eat those straight away. But I can make a sufficiently large amount of clean water. So let's quickly do that. And let's go for four at a time. Consume it until I'm not thirsty anymore, and pour the rest into. Well. Honestly, we could start using like the copper pot and things like that. Um, or the alum open aluminium cans, for example. And it might be worth doing that, just as something to store the water into. A uh, glass bottle now. Where is that aluminium can, though, is the question. Let's pop things into my inventory. Uh, let's have a look. Should be under food. There we go. I'll pick that up. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Can I... Hmm. Okay, I guess I'm going to be drinking the open down the can from there. Uh, how much more water have I got? Where is the gallon jug of regular water? Okay. Well, I don't need it for now, so I'm going to pick that up and then pop it straight back outside. And it can start filling up further. Spotted a zombie. Has it spotted me? Nope. So that's fine. Fine by me. Right. Let's have a look at what we can do. Nothing... We can make the crossbow now. It was just getting to fabrication 3, I guess. Okay. So we can just make a crossbow. We don't need to go back and get that one. That's good. And uh, written in lessons for the novice bow hunter. So sure, okay, we're gonna go ahead and make ourselves a crossbow. I'll use a uh, heavy stick nearby. And there we are. All right, well, we're dropping off our short bow then, unloading the quiver full of arrows, dropping those arrows down. There we are. And now what I need to do is make arrows. Uh, metal crossbow bolts. Damage 15, armor piercing of 5. I just need scrap metal or chunks of steel for that. Bone crossbow bolts, 12, an arm piercing of 3. Dispersion is only 145. And it only increases the range by 1. This one increases the range by 3. It's got lower dispersion as well. Uh, let's have a look. Wooden crossbow bolts, quite high dispersion. Very uh, wonky abilities there. We'll, we'll go ahead and... Well, actually, let's make a large quiver. Can I make one of those? I can. Let's make that. I would like to use the plant fiber nearby. And scrap metal. There we go. Where the large quiver, please. Drop down the regular quiver. Uh, just for comparison's sake, though, let's have a look at what they what they are, uh, how they are different. Uh, because they are. Uh, the quiver, where is that going to be? Quiver, 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 quiver. There we go. So, a large quiver is encumbrance of three versus two. It's understandable. It can take a bit more of a beating. Which is very nice to see. A large leather quiver trimmed with metal worn on the back. 
but it can hold 60 arrows, historically used by horse archers rather than foot archers. But neither of them had to fight zombies. Activate to store arrows. Now the other one is worn on the lay on the 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 waist of the torso. So that's the layer that it goes on to. Whereas this one is strapped over the back. So it would occupy the same la layer as the duffel bag, for example. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, so with that, we can store 60 rounds of arrows or bolts. So significantly, significantly more. Which is why I went ahead and made that. All right, let's see about making the metal crossbow bolts. We want to make six of them. We cannot any longer. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, we can make four, and then we can make two following that, actually. So we want to make two of these. There we are. And that should give us exactly 60. Ah, oh, marvelous. And we want to activate our large quiver, store our metal crossbow bolts in there. Now, the question here, crossbow, let's have a look. Yes, this is rifles. It is not archery. Hmm. Our rifle skill is not particularly good, but it can have a lot of mods on it. Um, it does have a longer time to reload, naturally. It is helpful if you are a bit stronger, because you can reload it faster, and we are reasonably strong as a character. Bolts fired from this weapon have a good chance of remaining intact for reuse, which is good because we're using expensive bolts effectively. Though that being said, again, there's a lot of metal in the town that we can access. Uh, okay, slow loading hand weapon that launches bolts. Stronger people can reload it much faster. Bolts fired from this weapon have a good chance of being reused. It's got high armor piercing because we're using metal bolts, so there's going to be much less ta um, instances of the bolt of like the wooden arrows that we were firing glancing off things. Uh, we've got a good, uh, an even chance of a good hit at seven range. That is actually quite nice, and it takes eight seconds to reach that aim level. There's a damage of 13, armor piercer of zero currently, dispersion of 50. Let's load it. So reload, crossbow, the metal crossbow bolt. Now let's have a look at it. Does it give us better information? There we go. There we go. So our damage is 13 plus 15. It now does 28 damage and an, at an armor piercing of five with a dispersion of 50 plus 135 equals 95. That doesn't make sense. Uh, maybe, maybe it gets um, deducted. And it shouldn't have been a plus, but either way. Uh, sight dissipation is 142. Now, there are accessories that you can put on this. We can put sights, stocks, uh, because it's effectively a rifle. But again, rifles are not our skill. Uh, we've got zero in rifles, whereas in archery, we've got two going on three. So, you know, there's going to be times. Uh, one thing I would like to make, though, uh, let's have a look. If I stand up here and I can see more things, I should be able to look at mods. A shoulder strap, for example, can be... Uh... Okay. <laughs> I can only assume that this would not go on my... my... <laughs> Even though it's a rifle. No, I don't think that would go on my... Uh... On my crossbow. However... Oh, the, it actually does say it can be used on the crossbows. There we go. Okay, okay, that's good. That's very good. Uh, a bow sight wouldn't fit on a crossbow, I don't believe, because a bow sight is it's built into the bow in many cases, um, or into the bow string, as is the case with with my bow. There's a there's a little ring, and as you draw the 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 bow back and the the string uh, grows more and more taut, the 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 ring changes position such that you can basically see through the the string um, it doesn't Im impede the effectiveness of the bow but it allows me to look straight through and then I've got a sight in the the um, the bow handle um, which allows me or the, bow, the spine of the bow which allows me to effectively sight directly along where I'm going to be shooting the arrow uh, but we're going to want a so shoulder strap I have no encumbrance, but it'll allow me to strap the crossbow onto me. So let's make that. Then I want to activate the shoulder strap and then fit it to my crossbow. There we are. Now I can wear my crossbow as I could my um, my bow. And there we go. We are now significantly 
better setup. I would like to drink out of the open aluminium cans. Uh, slate is good enough for me. Uh, okay, we got anything I can eat? We do not. We do not. Can I make bandages yet? That would be super useful. Uh, no. Chemical. Well, actually, let's just have a look. Band. I can make bandages. Very well, I would like to make quite a lot, actually. Make ten bandages, please. Using the plant fiber that's nearby. There we are. Now I'm going to apply some of these bandages. Uh, at least I, I hope to. Do I have them on me? Yeah. Uh, activate. You can't do anything interesting with it. Did I just make ten bandanas? Oh, my lord. I did. That's not what I wanted. Dyslexia, why? 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 I just saw ban. Ah, it must be bandage. Oh, no, it's still bandana. It's the only thing. Hmm. We mean... Oh, we've got the big book of first aid. That might actually hold the secrets that we're waiting for. You know what? Let's have a quick read. Okay, let's go through these ones. Nothing particularly interesting, but we now know that it affects my morale by two. Uh, the... Uh, which one was that one? We skim the novel. And it affects our morale by three. Horror novel. Affects our morale by one. Not too surprised by that. The erotic novel only affects our morale by one. I guess they're uh, not, not really our, our scene. Very well. Um, however, that one affects it by four. The drama novel. Uh, the Kojiki. Will affect it by one. Uh, the Quran affects it by one. And these can now all go and be stored up here for the time being. Let's go and just drop all of these down. Eventually, we may need to tear them apart for for paper, but we'll see. Obviously, the, there's some that I would prefer to tear apart first. But if we become desperate, everything is on the menu. All right, 101 crafts for beginners. Can bring our fabrication skill to three. Well, we've already got that. But it does have a number of recipes. Electric hair trimmer, onboard chemistry lab, food co, kitchen buddy, head torch, hacksaw, hoe, wood saw, charcoal smoker, entrenching tool, sledgehammer, pair of bolt cutters, shovel, concrete mixer, brick kiln, charcoal kiln, mechanical pump, lobotomizer, I know, soda can stove kit, adjustable stock, folding stock, pistol stock, bipod, recoil stock, forward grip, makeshift jack, that is good, a scissor jack, a bottle jack, a belt fed, a uh, belt feed adapter, telescopic pistol sight, and telescopic sight. Marvellous. Let's drop that down there. In fact, let's have a quick look at how that affects our mods. Which of these can be used on a crossbow? Let's keep looking through while well, the shoulder stop strap can be, obviously. Uh, okay, we've got the adjustable stock. Uh, what does this do? An adjustable replacement stock, improving both recoil and accuracy. Hmm. Okay, handling modifier, plus one. And dispersion modifier goes down. Uh, the forward grip. A grip placed forward of the barrel allows for greater control. Not as effective as a bipod, but usable under all conditions, whereas the bipod would not be. Uh, okay, so that's quite cool. Location under barrel. Handling modifier of six. The telescoping pistol sight can be used on the crossbow. Huh. A simple telescoping sight intended for use on a handgun. Increased weight, but it improves accuracy greatly. Simple telescopic sight essential for small telescope. Uh, essentially, a small telescope with crosshairs increases weight but improves accuracy. Um, sight dispersion is 80, sight dispersion is 60. Okay. Aim speed is adjusted in the same way. Folding stock can't be used on the, on the crossbow. All right, and the bipod cannot be either. Okay, well, let's have a look. I need two springs, and I also need a welder or makeshift welder of some sort. Uh, adjustable stock, exactly the same thing, because it's being made out of scrap metal, and that's unfortunate. Soldering iron. All right. Integrated toolkit, firearm repair kit. Uh, the sight. Uh, actually, this one doesn't look too bad. I need high-quality lenses, though. Now, they're going to be hard to come by. I may be able to get them from reading glasses, but it is more likely I'm going to need those from things like cameras. Because I think bleeding glasses don't have high-quality lenses. They just have lenses. Um, whereas a camera has 
typically very high, uh, well-tooled lenses. And it's the same for iBots. If you want to go and commit a crime and get an iBot chasing you, taking pictures of you, and then dispatching much, much more deadly bots, you can do that. If you can kill them quickly, it's fine. The moment the iBot pops out, until it takes a picture of you, you're okay. Once it does take a picture of you, suddenly you've got cop bots showing up. Uh, but that is something that we can look into. Definitely an option. Definitely an option. Let's uh, continue reading. Uh, advanced economics. Take our bartering up. That's not really something we want. Uh, alpha male quarterly. Uh, survival skill to one. We've already got that. Uh, it does affect our morule, uh, morale, morale, morale. Biodiesel. Bring our mechanics to six. Ooh. That is useful. Diesel is in there. That is actually super useful. If we can get our mechanics to three, then that's going to be great for us. Birdhouse monthly, fabrication to one. Don't need it. Guns and ammo. Can bring your marksmanship to one. We've already got that, I believe. But it does have a few other things. Um, iron sights and offset iron sights. Okay. Mechanical mastery. Mechanic skill to six, but requires level three to do it. Uh, but this one has a lot of recipes in it. An electric chainsaw, drive-by wire controls, so basically remote control cars. Yes, you can absolutely do that. Uh, vehicle welding rig. That is where we need to be. Once we can make a vehicle welding rig and build it into a vehicle which either has swappable batteries or is perhaps part of an electric vehicle, then you can just, wherever you take that vehicle, you can just completely cannibalize any other vehicles you see. And that is a really good way of getting more me uh, metallic components. Uh, a jackhammer, we can make duct tape with this, a vehicle controls, um, vehicle forge rig, basically, uh, to the, the vehicle rigs. Um, it allows you to forge metal, not just weld it. Um, a US, uh, UPS compatible recharging station. Uh, let's see, foldable bicycle, spiked plating, chainsaw, a uh, pane of reinforced glass, reinforced headlights, jack another jackhammer. Oh, one is an electric one, one is a uh, fuel one, I see. Sea drill, plow, vehicle scoop, uh, reaper, firearm, repair kit. Those are so you can actually make functioning farm vehicles. You can have a vehicle to plow and uh, to harvest your crops if you've got a big enough farm. A combat chainsaw. What the dickens? Makeshift welder, ergonomic grip, muzzle brake, ported barrel, firearm, waterproofing, rapid blowback, telescopic cantilever, and steel boom. Yes, you can make boom cranes. Uh, Self-esteem for dummies, and finally, the big book of first aid. Can take our, uh, our first aid to three. We don't need anything else for it. It has saline solution and disinfectant in there. Those are both extremely, extremely useful things. So, yes. Not a bad little uh, little haul in terms of our books. It's going to be a while before we're in a position to make use of all of these, obviously. But it's very good to have them all. Very, very good to have them all. Uh, what do we have there? 101 crafts for the beginners. Let's drop that off as well. Great. All right. Not too shabby, I must say. Let's um, not be real thing my umbrella anymore. We don't need it. Now then, I think that's going to be it for this episode. We have managed to raid the bookstore. I'm pretty pretty happy with that, actually. We have got a zombie horde on the road there. We've also got two NPCs up, up north. If we can, can do it, I would like to engage with the NPCs and have them live here. We can make a, a, um, a billboard. Now, the NPC mechanics aren't amazing yet. They can be there as guards, they'll eat your food, but you can also make it so that they don't just grab your stuff, but um, they will eat food, they will need to sleep, so you'll need to make them beds, or possibly you can make them sleep on the floor if you really want to. Um, but they are good guards. And you can tell them how to fight. Like, if they've got grenades, you can say, yeah, don't throw grenades. Never throw grenades, unless I tell you to throw grenades, in which case you can throw grenades. But normally, don't throw grenades, no matter what the situation is. Um, be more stealthy. Um, go for melee kills instead of your firearm, unless I tell you to use your firearm. So on and so forth. Uh, so you can actually have a good follower, a group of followers. You can tell them to stay here and guard this space, or 
to follow you and then go, you know, and, and go ham on a bunch of, of zombies. If there's like two or three of you, you've all decent with melee weapons and you've given them good melee weapons. Yeah, even a, a, a zombie horde that I would be worried of right now becomes trivial. I mean, obviously a brute is never trivial. Uh, unless you're Dapper McJester or Isdar, but then, you know, how many of us get to be Dapper Jest, uh, McJester or Isdar? But, uh, yeah, we may actually go up there and have a chat with him if we can. This forest, there's going to be loads of food up there. I think it's time that we start trying to uh, head into the forest, maybe even setting up a couple of trap fences to take out deer's moose, if we can be that lucky. Various other things. Um... There's a lot of stuff that we're going to be able to, to do, and we've got a lot of books there now. We don't need to head back and grab that crossbow. Maybe we will anyway, just because. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fairly happy with this. Are there anything, any other things that we could use? I, it doesn't look like. But that's fine. That's going to be it for this episode, though. I really do hope you've enjoyed, and we'll be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, do stay safe, survivors. <laughs>